Hello you guys, what is up? And welcome back to a new video on my channel. So baby, come let me Are you feeling cute? Are you feeling nice? Are you feeling fine? Because I know I am. If this is your first time to my channel, you don't know my name, you've never seen my face, you don't even know of my existence. Hello, I am Tyler and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, okay, so I know that I've been gone for like a week, but I recently, I just like visited family in a different state, so I like, I didn't bring my tripod or anything, I didn't film anything, I know, stupid. I was, my intent was to film, like I had every intention of doing it, but once I got there, I forgot that I brought a camera and it was just a whole lot, a whole lot, of, it was a lot of mess. So I didn't get like get around to filming anything, but I said the second I got back, and I was there for an entire week, so I know a week's worth of footage and vlogging and filming is now gone, or not now gone, it never was there. Oh, I got a text. Probably not from who I wanted to be from. <laughs> I was right. Today I'm gonna to be filming a video that I think is gonna be very helpful for all of you, you, all of you subscribers, um, all three of you. I think it's gonna be very helpful and you know, you can really use it. It's not like tips or anything. It's literally just about like Netflix. Actually, I am parched. Nah, bitch, I'm quenched. So base, oh. I didn't even tell you guys what video I was doing. Wow, okay. Today I'm basically doing the top five, oh that's 10, top five Netflix shows that you guys need to watch. So here we go. Shut up, shut up. Okay, on to the video. Sorry, I'm just really excited. I haven't filmed in so long. I'm just, woo, I'm back. Okay, the first show on this list, there's this show, okay, so it's kind of old. It was made in like the same year I was born, which is 99, and it's called Queer as Folk. Basically, Queer as Folk, oh my God, so my best friend, he watched it about a year ago, and he'd always tell me, you gotta watch it, you gotta watch it. And I remember when I was younger, like much younger, it came out in like 1999, 2004, so the reruns ran until like, I don't even know, younger than like 13. And I remember I was younger, and like the logo channel would sometimes be on at my grandparents' house, and I'd see the, um, I would see like the show, and it was like really gr like graphic for, uh, I don't even know how old I was, but younger than 13, it was just very, whoa. Like, my parents didn't let me watch stuff like that. Like, I wasn't allowed to watch Family Guy until I became a certain age. Like, I just wasn't allowed to. It's basically, like, just... I first thought it was going to be, like, a gay sex in the city, but it wasn't. It was just about, you know, love and deceit and hate. You know, basic components of a TV show, but it was just a really, really interesting twist. Like, there's some plot twists. There's a lot of drama. You guys know I love drama. I'm so dramatic. So, the show just really serves its purpose. Hey. It, there's like five seasons and each se like each episode is at least 40 minutes Come on. I hate when TV shows are like 29 24 like come on like give me a I need a book I need to be reading you know like I need something that's long lengthy that I'm gonna Want to see I can spend like all day watching I don't want to be finished with it in a day or like two days like it's taking me over a month now the show that I'm gonna be recommending to you guys is 90210 now I know a lot of you know what 90210 is, and basically if you don't, it's a zip code for Beverly Hills. When I tell you guys, there is drama, so much, so much, so much, and it's so good, like, you ever just sit down and you're just like, damn, whoever wrote this knew what they were doing, I'm Telling you, it's so good. I, I honestly, I prefer seasons one through three because after they leave high school, it's kind of uh, like it's okay. It's not as good as the first three seasons, but like kind of like American Horror Story, and it helps you a lot. It's really funny, really entertaining. The drama is crazy. Everyone is rich, living in Beverly Hills. It's 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 a vibe. It's a hundred percent need to watch. Not a two and zero. Now the next show you guys need to watch. It's the show, actually, a lot of people don't know about it, and I watched it about two years ago. I don't know if it's even still on Netflix. I'm pretty sure it is. If it's not, sorry, shoot me. But it's really, really good. It's called The Following. And basically, I mean, I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown. I'm not gonna, like, spoil anything. But it's about, like, this serial killer. Actually, not even a serial killer. It's like a cult leader, really. And he is a serial killer because he kills people. So a serial killer and a cult leader, and they're trying to, like, track him down. He has a lot of inspiration from Edgar Allan Poe, which is a lot of, like... Beauty was in the death of a woman and he's going around killing all these women and has this big cult and there's this guy That's trying to like catch him and find him and it's 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 so much It's it's crazy and I'm telling you when I first watched it like the, the very first episode You know a show was gonna be 
bop, like a, a bopping, uh, popping, when the first episode is crazy. It shows where it's like, oh, that episode was good, but that one was trash. Every single episode is a bop. So I think you guys definitely need to get on that trend. Hop on that, thank me later again. Okay, the next show that I wanna talk about, it's kind of like, it's kind of, it's comedic. It's like in the category of like Family Guy and American Dad, stuff like that. The name of the show is Big Mouth. When I first watched Big Mouth, I was like, the hormone monster, like, it was so funny. Like, I made all my friends watch it. It's literally the funniest thing in the entire world. Misty is my favorite character. The hormone monster, both the female and the male hormone, hormone monster. It's, it's just, it, that show literally had me in tears. My friends talk about it, people on Twitter were talking about it, but Big Mouth is hilarious. Very hilarious, hilarious, very funny show. You guys need to watch it. Trust me, you won't regret it, it's really funny. The next show, this actually is one of like my favorite shows in the entire world, like the entire face of this planet. This is like my favorite show ever, but it's on Netflix now, so like I kind of rewatch it sometimes. You need to watch How to Get Away with Murder. Drama on that show, and it's so good. Like I think Viola Davis is the reason why I want to be a lawyer so badly. Drama on that show, and it's so good. Like I think Viola Davis is the reason why I want to be a lawyer so badly. The acting and the script and it's everything about it is just so. Shonda Rhimes. I'm, is the queen. Like she is a producing queen. Do you watch it? Comment below if you like. I mean. It's gonna take you a while to get to season three, but comment below if you were as, as shook as I was for the plot twist in season three. Like, I have watched it, you know. Like, I don't cry at TV shows or movies or anything, but this show right here brought me to tears. Like, I was, and it, it felt, it was so good, and the acting is so real and convincing that it, it makes you feel like it's real life happening. So that you guys need to definitely watch that I just recently watched and I'm still waiting for, you know, more to come out. Um, it's called On My Block. Oh, it's a base, oh! And we watched the entire season together in about a day and a half. But it's about these kids basically being raised in the hood and it's, it's so good, like the messages and they're trying to like get their friend out of a gang and it's crazy. They're like just starting high school, all trying to like get their friend out of a gang and he can't because you guys, if you know anything about that, which I mean, I don't, my man, I do, but I don't. Um, You can't just leave a gang. You can't just be like, okay, I, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> you can't just get up and get in your car and go away. You, it's, yeah, you can't really live, like leave a gang. You get beat in and you get killed out. So the next show that I actually started watching about a year ago, another Netflix show that's amazing that I think needs more recognition, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. I am Titus. Titus is me. I love everything about that man. He is so funny. The show has so many, like, it, the show is hilarious. Like, that's one of my favorite shows I've ever watched, ever. And I just, I love it. Like, the plot, like, it's with Kimmy Schmidt, who's the main character, who basically is like, she was in a bunker for 15 years of her life, then moves to New York City and tries to adapt to living in New York with her roommate Titus, which is, he, you just have to watch the show and take my word for it. Trust me, because that show is, like I said, one of the best shows I've ever watched. It's so funny and Queer Eye. And it's just, it's so funny. And, and it's, it's, ugh. I love reality TV, even though like a lot of it's fake. I just love reality TV. It's just it's so interesting to like see people. I don't know. I just like the idea of like a camera following someone around. It's, it's just a fun idea to me. But um, basically the show is about, um, it's like five gay guys, five or six, I think five, I don't know, five or six. And they go in and they like give people makeovers and they help them with fashion, culture, like style, all this stuff, it's, it's amazing. And it's just so cool to like watch the progression of the show. It's so entertaining to me. And each guy that helps, they all have such like unique and cool and different personalities. And I just, I love for I love that show so much. And I just recently started watching it about two weeks ago. I don't know how many shows I've done. Is it okay to say 10? If I say 10, will you guys please not flame me? I don't know, <laughs> just watch anything you want. Watch a movie, I don't know, but yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for watching again, like I always say, you guys, uh, thanks for always coming back, hanging out with me. Thank you for, you know, clicking the like button, subscribing, I just, it means the world to me that you guys come and like enjoy the content that I put out. It's all for you. Um, and I will see you guys on the next video. 
Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you like this video. And like I say, because I say it every time, don't forget to come back. Bye guys.